Hey, Coffee Cuties. So the White Kings have struck again. Today, we are reviewing the case of Sade Robertson and Maxwell Anderson out of Milwaukee. Sade is a beautiful 19-year-old who went on her first date with a white zaddy, 33-year-old Maxwell, and it ended up costing her her life. I'm going to insert a video and then come back with more commentary. Pay. Barely speaking above a whisper. This is justice for Shade. And fighting back tears. Who the f would do something like this to my beautiful baby? Sheena Scarborough. She hurt nobody. Was pushing forward for her daughter, 19 year old Shade Robinson. Friday, Robinson's family sat in court and heard the grim details surrounding her death while staring at the man accused of taking her life, 33 year old Maxwell Anderson. The allegations in the complaint are abhorrent. Um, it is the highest level of violence imaginable. Prosecutors say Anderson and Robinson were going on a date Monday evening on April 1st. The state says they went back to Anderson's Southside apartment around 9 o'clock, where they say he killed her between then and early Tuesday morning. They say he then dismembered her body and scattered pieces around the county. The defendant did a tremendous amount of work to try to cover up the crime, including lighting Miss Robinson's vehicle on fire. Last week, police found and connected a severed human leg in Cudahy and a foot in Milwaukee to Robinson. After text messages and witness statements linked the two together, Anderson was arrested April 4th during a traffic stop. He's now charged with first-degree intentional homicide, mutilating a corpse, and arson. Sade was more than a person. She was an angel. Not having her right now is very painful. Family says the entire timeline has them shaken. Imagine trying to bury your niece with nobody for the service. I need justice for Sade. And they want the person responsible to pay. And Anderson's attorney also tried to get that first degree intentional homicide charge dismissed, saying there wasn't enough evidence to prove it, but that was dismissed. And he's in jail tonight on a $5 million cash bond. That's, his attorney also tried to get reduced to $500,000, and that request was also dismissed. He's due back in court April 22nd. All right, Coffee Cutie. So this white Kang was literally a Dusty with a long criminal history of criminal offenses, including domestic violence, intimidating a witness, and criminal damage to property. So we have to ask ourselves, is the white Kangs, is the white Zaddies really better? Um, and we also have to ask, would this beautiful 19-year-old date a black man of equal value? She literally got a bottom of the barrel Brad and she was trying to um, take a note out of Sheree Seven's book and sprinkle, sprinkle her way into financial security. But instead, it caused her into an early grave. I want to end by saying RIP to her and my condolences go out to her family as I am in no way victim blaming. However, I feel we have to express ourselves honestly. As experienced women, we are obligated to tell younger black women about the dangers of divesting and putting white men on a pedestal or any man in that matter. We may have failed Sade, but hopefully this video can save another black young girl in the future. But let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Any and all comments are welcome. Be sure to like and subscribe. We are on our way to 200 subscribers. And until next time, see ya.